Welcome to the Live Your Best Life Barefoot Podcast with your hosts, Mary Morriston and the team at Barefoot Bungalow Realty. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Live Your Best Life Barefoot. I'm Ruth and I'm here with Mary today. Good morning. We're going to do a quick market update before we introduce our great guests. Um, with the snowbirders heading out, I don't know if you've noticed all the little car carriers. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. So with that and with Easter, the school year ending, kind of a combination, we're noticing a little bit of a slow in the sale of homes. So when something comes on the market, how quickly it goes under contract is slowing down just a tit. So that is actually good news for buyers right now. Very good. Yeah. So if you've been thinking about it, this is a great time to jump on and um, get in the market and um, back to those interest rates. I think we were talking about this. I actually think that the interest rates are going to stay kind of where they are. This yeah. is this is Mary's crystal ball until after the elections uh, in November. So I think they're going to try and hover. You know all those political things. We're not going to get into here. Um, so. It's a great time. It is a great time. The market's a little slower, so you have a minute to look at things. and Things are staying on the market longer as well. We noticed that this weekend. Right, right. So there's our little market tip and update. And without further ado, we are going to introduce our fabulous guest, the Miss Ludia B. Okay, I'm not. Don't attempt it. it. Don't attempt it. (laughs) La, La Violette. Yes. You Yay! Did good. You did good. <laughs> and she is being a trooper. She actually has lost her voice. And a singer that has lost her voice coming on and talking to us is so nice of her. Welcome, Lydia. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. Good morning, everyone. So tell us a little bit about who you are. Let's start there. Well, once again, my name is Ludia Laviolette. I was born and raised in Port Prince, Haiti. And um, I've always would say that I've always enjoyed singing, love singing. But apart from singing, I'm more of a mother, cook, everything else for everybody and my home. Yes, so that's me. I'm everything. I'm a little of everything. How many kids do you have? I don't have any kids. That's the funny part. None of them are mine. (laughs) <laughs> <They're> not, <laughs> um, zero kids, not no time soon, not yet. No time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm Very good. good. So, what do you like to cook? Well, since I am Caribbean from the Caribbeans, we cook a lot of like Haitian food from but on Pizzi, which is fried plantains and um, beans and rice and shrimp. It's just just a lot of traditional food that we just love to enjoy. I dabble a little in the American food because I love it too. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I want to hear, I want to back up and hear a little bit about what your journey coming to the States is. Well, I was in Haiti for a while. I came here in 2007 at the age of 10. And I came with my little brother, my mother, and my father. And we've been moving around a lot. And we finally decided to settle here where I'm at in Cape Coral. And um, while I was in Haiti, my grandmother would drag me with her every day. If I could say I was in church every day, it's true. Every day. And she would sing in her group. And for some reason, I did not. She told me all the time, you don't know how to speak, but you're singing up there. And nobody knows what you're saying, but they like it though. And I'm like, oh, okay, at least they like it. That's amazing, though. That is amazing. So, like, since you were a little girl, you. And I have no memory of it. It's just that many people have told me they have witnessed that from me. And my mom said I would hum songs I don't know the words to or make up songs and just say words that don't exist and never will exist. <laughs> but I, I like that though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so being a singer, I'm guessing that that brings in a component of um, art and feeling into your life. Um, so 
what is it that makes you continue to draw, be drawn to singing? And um, uh, specifically, tell us a little bit about what you, what your preferred um, song choices are. I'm blanking on the words. <laughs> Genre, genre, there we go. Genre. Well, my preferred genre is gospel, um, Christian music. Um, I am a Christian and my, me singing and it's just a form of like worship. I, at a point in time, I just found it something that was honestly that pulled me instead of me going towards it. Because if it was for my decision, I know that since I have like a lot of stage fright, I run away from the stage. Like, I do not want wow. to do it. I'm, if I get on that stage, I'm sweaty. My palms are sweaty. I forgot every lyric, even if I knew it. It's a mm -hmm. second ago. So it's something that I heavily prey on because if I let my fear stop me, I will be my biggest downfall. Like, I'll be my biggest downfall. And I just felt like this is what something God called me to do. And I'm okay with submitting to what he said for me to do. So it's not more so my choice. It's honestly his choice. And I'm loving it, actually. I'm loving it. And staying with gospel music, I've honestly, like, changed how I see people, how I think, and even how I see myself. Because my confidence, I've went to levels that I know that if I would have sung other genres, I would be hiding behind it instead of using my emotions with it. I allow my life circumstances, my situations, my home situations, my family back in Haiti situation into my worship. It makes it more personal. And I feel like that's what reach people better. And that's what people could connect to. Something that they've been through and they are going through. And to know that it does change. Like it's probably the most cliche thing to say, but since I've been there, done that, I put it, well, God have allowed me to put it into how I sing and the feeling through it. And that's what I love about it. And that's why I'm sticking with gospel music because it honestly does change mindsets. It's hard to change somebody's mindset once they've been like that for a long time. Right. So, you know, you're still not going. It's, it's odd to hear that, you're, that you have such that shyness about you when you get on stage because I've only met you the one time at Rick's Baby yeah. Shower, but you're so outgoing. You were so welcoming to everybody, and I just don't see that side. But I totally understand it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. And yeah. that's a that's a huge accomplishment to allow yourself to get over that. Yes. Because it's, you do have a gift. Thank you. It's it's not easy. A lot of people be like, oh well go go on there and do it because you can and i'm just like only if you know that <laughs> i'll forget how to walk I'll forget how to talk i seem outgoing but that's why i know that it was something that i was called to because it was not going to be easy i decide to do it and i feel like my bravery comes from doing it even when i'm afraid more like terrified to wow. do so it's like I don't want to do it I don't want to do it I've been hiding for this from years years, years. Really? and okay. to finally do it and to finally step out into it it's like wow pat on the back I might say yes yay. yes for sure so tell us about what you're doing like specifically because you're you've got some uh great um why am I not finding words today it's Monday. Some great, <laughs> some great um, events and venues that you've been doing. Yes. Well, I currently sing with a group called His, and we sing at like different churches and events. And I always, yeah, like, you could find me like almost almost every Monday at Poets Realm. Poets Realm. Where's my words? Yeah. <laughs> it's, very, it's rubbing off on you. It's catching. <laughs> it's catching up. It's in Fort Myers. And to find that information out, people could just like follow me on my Instagram so they could find where that location is at. And as well as there is a conference for praise and worship leaders, singers, drummers, dancers, people who just love the art, the same. 
dance, whatever it may be, produce. There's this event going down in Hollywood, Florida. I believe that's in the Miami areas. This April 22nd to the 24th, it's going to be a lot of like seasoned people that's wow. into this ministry and into this industry that's going to be teaching everyone that honestly comes. The tickets, I believe, are limited, but they're still selling. So it's like I've I'm going to be there and many others are going to be there. So if anyone just love that aspect of just getting better at their craft, they should really truly do attend, truly attend. Because most definitely I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. And we could like and communicate. You'll be okay. You'll do good. <laughs> You'll help others, you know, get to their tr true selves as well. Right. I'm going to be learning. So if somebody want to learn, come on. We can learn together. Yeah, I love Let's it. Get it. Let's get better together. That's I awesome. So we're going to take a little minute right here. Are you? Do you think you can see? I'd love to be able to hear you. Oh. Now let's see because <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> yeah, no pressure. <laughs> um, what can I sing? Let's see. Some that's not gonna be too much. Uh, There's none like you. I love and I worship you. You are my God and who I trust. I will forever endeavor worship you. For you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, and Omega, you are Yahweh, Alpha, and Omega. I tried, y'all. I tried. Yay! That was amazing. Oh, beautiful. And happy to glory. Your voice is so beautiful, even yeah. despite. Even, <laughs> even hoarse. Yeah. It still sounds beautiful. It is so beautiful. And your spirit. I loved it. That was beautiful. To yes. God be the glory. That is not of me, of Him only. I love it. I love that. And that's what we, we really felt when you sang um, at the baby shower. Like, oh, yeah. you have a fabulous voice, but that you're right, that spirit that you bring with it. Um, and I love that you share the good news through through your song and your voice. That is just... It's beautiful. Yeah. It's yeah. really beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Because music is honestly like a universal language. I feel like mm -hmm. you all need to sometimes understand, sometimes just feeling it. Right. Yeah, because not yeah. everything. Sometimes we get too wordy. It's, some people like simple things. Just make it simple, yeah. so that all can receive it with no judgment, anything of the sort. Just receive it and feel the spirit. Because to him be the glory. Because me, mm -mm, I don't deserve it. It's honestly by his grace that I'm able to do this, and it's shocking. And now that I'm here on this podcast, like who would have thought that I would meet you guys? And right. Yeah. Right. He, if I didn't like decide to do what he said to do, like right, right. nobody want to know, like I wouldn't, you guys wouldn't know, and I wouldn't meet you. And right. you guys are wonderful. I love meeting you. It's been <laughs> fabulous. So, sweet, so kind. Thank you so much for having me. Like, thank you. It's so, so amazing. It's an honor. Yeah, it truly is. And I love oh one thing I was gonna say. I love about um, gospel music is it does stay with you, like. Yeah. So you're giving people a gift while they're listening, but then that stays with you. Like I hear the words later on in the day, maybe when I'm having a hard time mm -hmm. or I feel like an upbeat things, that yes. music comes back to you. So yes. it's a double gift. It is. It is. It's a gift that keeps on giving. 
Exactly. exactly. We're so honored to have you here with us. Thank you, thank you. We're so excited to watch what, what you do with this gift and, and be part of that. So we're gonna revisit how people can get in contact with you. Yes, um, you guys can follow me and check on my Instagram. It's my name, literally just my name, L-O-U-D-I-A underscore L-A-V-I-O-L-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Ludia Laviolet. I know it probably sounds really hard to do, but after you put the Ludia and the underscore, I should come up. I don't okay. think there's any other Laviolets out there. <laughs> awesome. And that's on Instagram, right? Yes, Instagram, and it's the same thing for TikTok, just put 97 at the end. And then they can find the group information. They can find it too. I'd love to come hear all of that sometime too, so. Yeah. It was great, I'll, we'll, I'll be posting like, when we go places and all those events. And plus, I'm okay with people actually DMing me. I don't ignore anybody. So it can message me, ask me for more information. Or the retreat that's happening on April 22nd to April 23rd, it was made by the visionary herself, Meredith Mullis, and she is a seasoned worshiper, and she's the one putting this together. So you guys could get her information too to get going and get in there. Like, awesome. I just want to see everybody. I love, awesome. it. I yeah, love it. Yeah, it's great. I think it is. Well, Ludia, thank you again for coming and joining us this morning. Thank despite you for your, I know. <laughs> thank you for was, having me. That was so amazing, and we um, will make sure that we get that information out there so that everybody can um, enjoy it a little bit more. Um, if you, our listeners, would like to have somebody come join us on the podcast, we'd love to hear that. You can reach out to us at Facebook on Facebook at uh, Barefoot Bungalow Homes or barefootbungalowhomes.com. There's a little reply comment section on there. And um, as always, we want to remind you to Live your best life barefoot. Thank you for listening to the Live Your Best Life Barefoot podcast sponsored by Barefoot Bungalow Realty. To learn more about Barefoot Bungalow Realty, go to www.barefootbungalowrealty.com or call 239-350-5535.